So for it is early, but I want you to take a look at just a couple of images. Do you see the resemblance between these two men? Because somehow Fox contributor Ari Fleischer, well, he got the two confused, blaming our co-host Michael Steele for the infamous Steele dossier compiled not by Michael Steele, but by former British intelligence officer Christopher Steele. Now, amazing on its face, Michael, but I am told this is not the first time this has happened to you. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, let me just set the record straight. Y'all can just, you know, bond. Do we have the sound? Steel bond. That's me. Right here. Right here. Steel bond. Let's do it. I am that British intelligence yeah, officer. Short. But here's the, here's the thing. It happened a lot. I mean, during this whole episode with the Steele dossier, from the New York Times to Washington Post, everybody, everybody <laughs> had me out here as this, this secret agent, sort of spy figure, writing this stuff. And it was always amusing to me. It's a little thing called fact check. Pull the photo up, and you will see... Yeah, except for not even the white shirt. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even. I just, I, let's play the sound because he, he not only accused you of doing it, he said you should go to jail. Yes. Play the sound. If a source lied to the FBI like that, I have no problem with prosecuting that person. Mm -hmm. But then why hasn't Michael Steele, the author of the Steele dossier, been prosecuted? This, again, is the two sides of justice. Mm, the 23rd press secretary, White House press secretary, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and Ari, you know me. You know me. My hair ain't white because I ain't got none. Come on. Stop it. But I have a, I have a question, Michael Steele. Is, is, it, is it a slip of the tongue? Is it bad copy editing? Or are there really people who believe that you are the steel of the steel dossier? I, I, there, there are people who b actually believed it then and probably do now. I mean, it was amazing. I'd look at, you know, whether it was by social media or whatever, it was amazing the responses that people would... And I would say, it's not me. And they're like, oh, you're lying. I'm like... <laughs> I'm just, what do they need you to do? Have like? you seen a picture of Christopher <laughs> Steele, right? <laughs> what what I'm telling you, it ain't me. Thank you. The side by side is all we need for the rest of the for the rest of this the seconds well, we got with the show. We, we, it, go ahead, Simone. Oh, I just I mean, it just goes to show the ridiculousness of it all, right? And the fact that like I mean uh, folks are mad about the FBI informant by folks, I mean, re Republicans who are on the Trump train, like Ari, who are saying, oh, well, if we're going to prosecute the guy that lied about Hunter Biden and the president, well, we need to prosecute Michael Steele. <laughs> well, or, but here's the thing, even just stay where they were, right, where they can never actually just grapple with the facts in front of them. They have to point the finger at something else. It's always this what about, I'm sorry, I'm realizing I'm pointing at you, Michael, it's, oh, Simone. <laughs> it, it's this what about-ism that, that is so wild to me, Michael. Yeah, it is. And, and, but it also, I think, you know, look, you know, it says a lot about the name. It's a, it's a strong name. What can I say? Steel is a strong name. And, and, and the reality of it is... Uh, it also speaks to how people uh, are, are so driven by a narrative uh, that they don't take, take time to step back and get the facts straight, I mean, and understand exactly what they're saying. You don't call for, I mean, even if it was a slip of a tongue, but he said it twice. I mean, in that, in, in that conversation, it wasn't like he said it once. Well, maybe he want to put you in jail. Maybe that's and maybe, the And maybe that's the thing. Maybe Republicans are just mad because you are independent in your thinking and you're still a Republican, but you're not with Trump and you are a I black just, Republican at that. I just say bond. Bond steal. There we go. <laughs>